Good morning. I'm Miklesh Yadav. Today, I'll be talking about how to run time series regression in R. So let's start. I'm having data of unemployment rate and inflation rate of different years from 1950 to 1996. So obviously this is the nature of time series, right? I'm having two variables. It means I'm having series of uh, unemployment rate and inflation rate. So I'm going to check the impact of inflation on employment rate. It means the series of unemployment is dependent variable and the series of inflation is independent variable. As it is nature of time series, in R, we must have some packages in order to run regression. And these packages are one is time series and another one is LM test. After installing these two packages, we have to load in library. I have already done installation work and I have already uploaded it in library. So directly I can go for the regression. Well, this is different from cross-sectional regression in some aspect like uh, in time series regression we have to ensure that our series are stationary. So first and foremost before running regression I must ensure that these two variables are stationary. So I'll be checking either my series are stationary or not. And for this, the command is adf dot test and series name that is uh, unemployment. Enter. Well, though I have already explained how to check uh, stationarity in my another video, so let's see. P value is 0 0.01. It means it is less than 5%, right? What is null hypothesis? Null, null hypothesis is the series is non-stationary. It means the hypothesis is rejected because p-value is less than 5%. So we can say that the series of unemployment rate is stationary, right? Similarly, we can check stationarity of uh, inflation. enter. If you read the p-value of uh, inflation, it is also uh, rejected, right? So we can say that uh, the series of inflation is stationary, right? What happened? Here I have checked stationarity of these two variables and these variables are stationary at zero. It means I O. So simply we can go for linear model regression. There is no like uh, difference in stationarity. If there would be like uh, stationarity at zero and another variable is zero one, so then we would be opting another option in regression, which uh, in later video I'll be talking about. But here both of variables are stationary at zero. That's why we can go for the linear model regression of time series. So now I'm going to, after testing the stationarity, I'm going to run time series regression. So what is the command for that? Just I'm going to create a series like uh, model one equal to LM, that is linear model, our dependent variable that is unemployment and I'm going to regress on the basis of I'm going to regress on the basis of uh, inflation which is our series of uh, uh, you can say independent variable so inflation 
enter. Well, so a series of model one has been created here. Now I want to know what is R square, what is R uh, adjusted R square, our, either our model is fit or not. For the same, I just simply write here summary and model one. Enter. Oh, well, this is the outcome of regression. Let's see. Read it one by one. This is uh, all about uh, general statistic or you can say descriptive statistic. These are the coefficient. Read it one by one. Let's say. Uh, this is intercept which is also known as constant and its uh, value is 0 0.02024. Inflation estimate is minus 0.16017. A standard error is 0 0.15 and then 0 0.060. T value is 0 0.13 minus 2.64. And finally, the P value is more than 5% of interest and uh, inflation is having 0 0.011. So, by looking this minus value of inflation, we can easily say that there is negative relationship between unemployment and inflation. By looking this 2.24 and 0 0.011 and there is a star already a star mentioned here. So we can easily say that the inflation is significant. It means there is significant relationship between inflation and unemployment but this significant relationship is in negative why why in negative because the estimation value of inflation is in minus right so it is all about significant relationship between inflation and unemployment now this is all about residual error 1.064 number of uh, degree of freedom is uh, 45 r squared is 13.48 percent so inflation has contributed to explain unemployment rate by 13.48 percent similarly adjusted r squared is 11.56 percent one of the major aspect of any particular regression is F a statistic value, which is 7.01 and P value is 0.011. What we are supposed to see? With the help of F a statistic, we come to know that either our model is fit or not. If P value is less than 5%. We can say that our model is fit. And the same thing happens here. P value of F statistic is less than 5%. So we can easily say that this model is this model is fit for running the regression. In uh, next video, I'll be talking about different assumptions. That's all about time series regression, which is also known as two variable regression. Thank you very much.